Well, first things first, guys, we're going to go to the Nuka Cola plant and we're going to find a pass card. So let's get inside and find that pass card. So we're going to go in the door. Now, I will say for later parts of this little uh, quest, if you like, marsupial is very, very handy to have. It involves some jumping later on. So either a marsupial or maybe a jetpack on your power armor would be the ideal thing to have. Now I'm actually doing this on an alternate character and I did it the first time with that marsupial or a jetpack and yeah it was a bit of a faff to be honest with you, it wasn't too easy. So we're going to come to this door, we have got a lock picket. There's normally a few more ghouls in here than uh, that particular one. I guess somebody's already been in here. Now what we've got to do is get here. If we crouch down, we need that. Okay, so look at that. Paired keycard 01. That's one of two. So, there we go. The goal. Now, we're going to travel. We're going over to Tangera Town, which is right over here. And we're going to fast travel. If you've not unlocked this already, it's quite a way. And yeah, the area is fairly littered with bad guys. Oh, there we go, there it is. Oh, come here. Can fast travel yet? No. It's because I said they were all dead, isn't it? That's why we're turning up now. Off we go. I thought I'd do this live so that you could see all the problems that I encounter doing this and give you an idea. A lot of the videos for doing this particular thing to get the X01 Power Armor Nuka, Nuka Quantum Paint were sort of edited down, just showing you the basics to go there, but you will encounter quite a lot of high level bad guys. So I uh, thought I'd do this live and if you know, I come unstuck, well, you know why. So let's go. I'm just gonna tilt my camera down a little bit there guys we're looking at the sky aren't we okay so sometimes there's something very high level and bad hanging around here like that now you can kill that if you want or you can ignore it mm, we'll kill it now i don't run a bloody build so i'm going to take precautions seeing as i am uh, Try to do this without dying. Four railway spikes. Nope, that's not good, is it? Oh. So if you come in here, bring your power armor, I guess is the uh, moral of the story. There we go. And yeah, I have got the electrically charged mod on my power armor. That's what all the lightning was. Good little mod. Um, pretty good for low level enemies though, not really for high level. Does a reasonable amount of damage on them. Uh, not a lot. So uh, it can stun the lower level ones and make them fall back. There you go. That's it. Broken? Yep, broken. Great. Okay, so we're going to go right to the top of this. See, if you're watching one of these edited videos, you want to know there was a fog crawler, or I've seen a moth there before, I've seen a death claw, I've seen all sorts of stuff at this location. Now, parkour is the key here, and if you're no good at it, like me, you'll probably die. So uh, just be warned. I normally do this in power armor because if you fall off you don't die. There's also a nice cave to go through and it's full of cave crickets. See where I'm going? I don't. A bottle there. Anything in it? Lovely. Perhaps not. Up here. Dun dun dun. There we go. Really cool area this is. Oh crap! Yeah, you see, that would have been edited out, let's face it, guys. Oh, didn't want to do that. So, I did actually store all my junk before we left. Pretty good job. Can I respawn here? Yeah, because I want to respawn miles away. There we go. I did 
did tell you I was bad at parkour. It's worse without marsupial. So let's go again. Do -do -do -do. I've done this twice before. I've done this on, uh, I did it on Xbox first. And I was like a level, I don't know, I think I was like a level 35, something like that, quite a low level. And um, no marsupial, you know, middling power armor. And I managed it, it was okay. Um, I did it on PlayStation. I was about level 60 when I did it on there, much easier. I had marsupial and stuff. Um, just never got around to it on PC, so thought I'd better do it. And thought, as soon as I'm doing it, before Wastelanders comes out, I'll, uh, I'll take a little video of it while I'm streaming. I mean, don't get me wrong, Danny, you can get all sorts of bad stuff to deal with. Okay, we're going to double back, go up here, around. Now, without marsupial, you're coming up to the hard bit because you can't jump high enough to easily get round. Yeah, this area is great. Mm, I don't want to die again because, you know, I'm trying to show you how to do this. So I'm going to go power armor again. This is any excavator power armor. It's the only one I ever use because it like carries everything. None of the others do. So uh, the skin's quite a good way of hiding the fact that you're in power armor. What shall we use, guys? All rise and axe. Let's use the axe. All rise. These can be like annoying little buggers. I'm low on ammo, so uh, that's a good way of doing things. Forever farming now. I'm sure you know if you're a seasoned player. But if you're a seasoned player, you've probably already done this, so. It's aimed at newer players. I mean, you can always buy this skin from various player vending machines, but the thing is, when you've got the key yourself, especially if you followed my other two guides, and done Dome Key 2 and 3, you can keep collecting the stuff and have a nice little, well, sale for your vending machines. You can keep putting them on sale and, uh, and selling the stuff, you know. Which is ideal. Follow this round. I don't get lost in here. There's a weird thing down at the bottom. Shall I show you? Go down the bottom. Check this out. What is this? This looks like Prometheus. I think, guys. Mm. Very strange. Well, shall I get the cave cricket stuff while I'm here? Might as well. Somebody's having a war outside. All good. I do get lost in here an awful lot. Okay. Shit. Nearly. <laughs> we got to get all the way on top of all this. Got to remember which way to go. So I am really marsupial, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Ooh, graphics glitching out there, see that? Over here. Ah, oh, see, I remember now. It has actually been like, well, nearly a year since I last did this. What have we got in here? Not worth it. Without marsupial, this is a pain in the neck. It's a pain in the neck with it. Right, we are getting there. If I can remember which house. Yeah, we gotta go walk. I remember.
here we go guys I believe this is the house yeah this is it so what we're aiming for literally is that flag just there underneath that flag is the item we're after which is the key card I'm not going to take the power armor off and probably break my neck so what you're going to do is run and jump straight across so there we go guys key card was under the trifold american flag there we go so if you look in your inventory now we will have uh, where are we? The key card there we go mm -hmm. paired key card one and two we've just picked up two there it is show you because I'm not sure if my uh, recording software actually recorded me picking that up or not it's been awkward GeForce experience being a pain so let's go to our next location next up we're going to the crashed plane this doesn't help because part of the swamp is currently running but I do get free travel so I'll take advantage of that and go to heart of the swamp but we're not here for that we're actually here for a suitcase that's under Attention, like this is Harley Clay on a priority message recording. A strangler heart's been picked up in the vicinity and its fine infested creatures won't be... So we're off to the next step. There's the aeroplane. So there's the angle we're at looking out at the wing. There's the fuselage. And if we come down here to this suitcase in the middle of the tree, Nuka-Cola marketing access code. We need that. And off to our next location. So yes, I did actually have to kill the Milo Queen in the middle of doing this recording, which wasn't ideal. What we have to do, guys, when we get here is basically run inside, run around the back, and you will see the computer. Just follow what's happening on screen before we finally head back to the domes to open that door. Do get a pen and paper handy. You are going to have to write down a one-time code from this location um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's really glitchy so just be warned but follow what I do and you'll be on the right path So guys, when you finally get yourself back to Dome 7 after getting uh, the key out of the safe behind the wall, and I will just mention at this point, this is a really, really glitchy quest. Sometimes um, the random one-time generated code that you get doesn't work, no matter how many times you put it in. And sometimes you'll get stuck in the doorway, you know, when the wall opens and opens up the secret area. Sometimes you'll walk into that and get stuck and you won't be able to get to the keypad, like you're literally within touching distance and you can't touch it. So it's a really glitchy little quest. Um, I've done this many times and out of all the attempts I've done it on, I've literally, I think I've only done it like twice successfully. In fact, this attempt here showing you this video, I had to do the whole thing four times just to get the key to be able to show you how it's done. So be warned. It's the right far for the pain in the neck, okay? But once you've got it, there's your dome, dome seven. 
and it is located right at the start so you spawn I mean I did show you earlier but you spawn over here on the road and it's the first dome that you come to when you run up the hill so there's the river lot along there there's the audience works just over there lot there's the fence so you run up the hill and it's the first one that you come to I won't open it up I'm sure you all know what's inside it I won't spoil it there's a few other bits in there besides the plan for the X01 armor but guys that's it good luck with your quest I hope you don't get as many bugs doing it as I certainly have and uh, I'll see you again next time in future Fallout videos thanks for watching bye for now